perpetuated. In each occasion of his ecstasy, perhaps two million, perhaps six million spermatozoa enter the uterus through the vagina. But of all this migrating mass, only one cell is needed to perform the necessary union. Only during the few days when the ovum is in the upper third of the oviduct can it be fertilized. Gradually the sperm move upward through the cavity of the uterus into the passages of the oviducts. In the heads of these advancing cells is the nucleus containing the chromosomes, that vital material which, when combined with an equal number of female chromosomes, will determine the physical development of the child. While a number of spermatozoa may enter the ovum, only one fertilizes it. Now new life begins. 